back. No, we don't have about an hour. Okay, third. <laughs> Welcome back to Ashron's Acres. Um, today for supper we are making homemade scalp potatoes. So I cooked two pounds of potatoes in the pressure cooker so it's soft before I put them in the oven. And then now I'm getting ready to grate about two cups of cheese to go into it. And then we'll be melting the cheese, milk, and some butter together to make the sauce. I will be back because I can't hold this and grate at the same time. I'll be back. And I don't want my child to slice her <laughs> finger off. So I will be back and we will do the next step. Okay, so now I got my two cups of, I did Colby cheese. Um, it's all shredded. I got my one and a half cups of milk ready. Got my quarter cup of flour ready. It's gluten free flour because gluten free. And then now I got a quarter cup of butter. We're getting ready to melt it. And then once it's melted, we are going to take the flour and we are going to put it in with the butter make a consistency we're going to cook the that the butter in the flour for about two minutes and then we'll add the milk and we'll cook the milk for um we're gonna put the milk in and then we'll do the milk for about two to three minutes and then we'll add the cheese so we're not sitting here and boring you while we're waiting for the butter to melt and all butter to melt and stuff. I'll come back when the butter's melted and then I add the um, flour and then I and then you know I'll keep coming through the steps so I don't have to sit here and make you bo bored out of your mind and make this video extremely long which it doesn't need to be hours but I will be back when the butter is melted okay so I did the butter and I already added the milk we cooked it for three minutes now I'm gonna shut it off the heat I'm going to add some pepper and I'm gonna use garlic because we don't use salt sorry excuse this over there that's our compost bin bucket um, we'll mix it in and then we're going to take it off the heat and then we're going to add the two cups of cheese into it and we're going to let it melt and stir it in there We got some burnt cheese. Oh, I Don't touch it. That's I'm part sorry. hot. I'm sorry. Let Luna have some cheese. She grabbed some already. Yep, she has. Okay. And this is your cheese sauce to go on your potatoes. So, I'm gonna mm -hmm. melt this. I'm gonna chop up the potatoes now into slices to put into our casserole and then I'll be back after I get all that the potatoes cut and ranged into a casserole. Potatoes peeled right now I'm trying to find my I got my smoked paprika but I was gonna put actual paprika on top there it is found it all right so I got my potatoes. Normally you would put it in a 9 by 13 but my 9 by 13 casserole. They go potty! Hurry! Sorry, we're potty training. Um, 9 by 13 pan casserole but mine's dirty. Oh! Okay! But it's dirty because, or it's, Go in there and go potty! Hurry! Go potty before you pee! Luna! My 9x13 has got our brownies, gluten free brownies in that I made the other day. So, now I'm going to take 
the cheese sauce and I'm going to try to do this okay here's the cheese sauce see it's pretty full so if I would have had it my 9 by 13 it probably wouldn't be quite nearly as full as what this is but it's okay it'll do um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of the paprika that I told you that I was trying to search for so we're just gonna sprinkle some to give it the, the look of paprika and then we're gonna take about a quarter cup of shredded extra shredded cheese more of it and sprinkle it on top It's probably more than a quarter cup, but whatever. We like cheese. You can be precise, or you can just go with your, um, you eyeball on it. Or say, yep, this is good, and it'd be like a half a cup or two cups. That's not two cups, but, all right. And then we are going to place it. I'm going to have her do it. It's a 350 degree oven. Watch the dogs get burnt because they like to put their nose where it doesn't belong. The other mitten. Lacey! Pull out the, I would pull out the tray. Now you're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then it'll be ready. It's pretty much to let the potatoes cook a little more and the cheese sauce to cook more um. about 20 minutes and then we will be back once the um potatoes are done in the oven so in the mix of the scalp potatoes i know this is a scalp potato video but for, for supper um the middle one said that she wanted like kind of like fried cheese and jalapenos kind of so we're going to have ham and the scalp, homemade scalp potatoes, of course, that we are making. But we're going to take some jalapenos. We're going to do the jar jalapenos because I don't have no fresh ones. And then she's slicing up cheese because all we do is we either shred the cheese over top of the jalapenos or you can slice it like this and then you just set it on top of a jalapeno. Um, I'm going to use my slicer and a knife. And a knife. Yeah, use parchment paper. It's behind everything up there. <laughs> I think she's kind of short, so hold on a minute. Let me grab it. When you're short, you can't grab the stuff that mom puts back. Thank you, mommy. Use parchment paper. It's easier to clean up. Sorry for my arm. Okay, now Riley is gonna do her jalapeno thingies. You're gonna do it that way. Or you're gonna put the cheese on top of the jalapeno. Put the jalapenos first, and then put the cheese on top, mm -hmm. so the cheese melts on top down to the on top of the jalapeno. I'm just asking. Cause that's how I do it. We use it with fresh jalapenos too, but of course we don't have any right now and it's winter and we don't have any. Her and her dad like love jalapenos. But I made this mistake too. Um, when we lived in Hawaii, I did this and now ever since I did this it's like creating a monster <laughs> depends on how jalapeno you want it if it was just me and not sage that doesn't look really okay. I've done stuffed jalapenos too with 
they're, they're fresh ones. I've actually done them with the, these jarred ones, too, where I've put, like, cream cheese on top of them, too, and done it that way. Like a jalapeno popper type thing. Minus the breading and stuff. Oh, I, I don't think I was supposed to eat that cheese, but I did. Ooh, had a little bite to it. I had some jalapeno juice on it. Ooh. I touched it. Woohoo. But I'm take real, the fresh ones too and cut them in half and put cream cheese and then we put bacon on top and those are really good too. Excuse the dirty dishes that kids haven't done dishes yet. She's a weirdo. So that's all she does is that would I'd put another probably another jalapeno under that one. That was a tiny one. But she'll fill up this whole tray. And then you only bake it for long enough to melt pretty much melt the cheese. And then they're done. And then you leave them cool a little bit so you can pick up the the fried um, cheese. The fried cheese, you might as well say, because if not, then you're not gonna be able to pick it up. But I will come back on when everything is the scalloped potatoes are done so you can see those and then when the these are done so you can see what Riley's little masterpieces looks like. Alright, so we're back. The scalloped potatoes have been in the oven for about mm, 20 to 25 minutes. I, so they're done. Or at least they should be. It looks like they're done. And then, here's Riley's concoction that she did. So, we made a couple. See, I got, like, one here. That's just none. No jalapenos. That's for the little one. Because, of course, she can't have jalapenos. So, got her some fried, fried ones, too. But, there's that. So thank you for joining us tonight on the on Ashron's Acres Homestead for our prep for our supper tonight. If you want to have any questions, let me know. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and like us and follow us. Have a good day.